have the resources, but we have some of the most brilliant minds in London at Pembroke. Razvan Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but also has the highly unstable blood of the Skulls. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? I should talk to Dr. Swansea about it. In the Good evening, Doctor. How is my son doing? Do you require medical attention as well, Mrs. Goswick? Do you know you're the only one who's asked me this? No. I don't feel well, actually. Despite what you think about this place, I can tell you with absolute certainty, taking this will help you recover. Well, at least your reputation seems well-deserved. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for this hospital. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. I will not let you down, my boy. I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. Do you need my assistance? Don't be ridiculous. I'm capable of dealing with this myself. I've just not taken the time to do so. And you are lucky that I have taken the time to do so. Consider it a gesture of solidarity between professionals. I wish this hospital could have received as much attention from you, Dr. Reed. We do not see you in surgery very often. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Do you need any medical help, Milton? I'm afraid I do. Like everyone in this hospital. It's a sad state of affairs when even the hospital workers are worried about disease. Our job brings us into contact with all kinds of infections, Milton. There's no shame in being ill while you're in a hospital. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. I get the feeling you don't fall sick often. But thanks anyway. Goodbye, Milton.
Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. Soldier, do you need assistance? Not really. I think I caught something in this bloody hospital. I swear I'm dead, yet smiling inside, Dr. Reed. As long as you remain here, I will make sure you don't have to worry about your health. Don't think you can do much about it. Damage is done. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Yeah. My own life. Damn. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Such a pleasure to see you again. Do you need medical attention? Well, the proximity of the dead is not the most healthy company, even if the quiet can be appreciated. Don't take too many risks with your health, Mr. Chidana. None of us are immune to this disease. And that is a good thing. Death and disease is a constant reminder of our mortality. But you have my thanks, Dr. Reed. Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and curios, really. But I'm sure they can be useful. It never ceases to amaze me how you, the dead, seem peaceful and lost at the same time. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Admit it. Nurse Hawkins is more than your lover. She's also your partner in crime. Of course she is. How else could I tell which bed is free? I need to know that. Have you no shame? Don't you see the city is crumbling down? Today, people are ready to pay to get a hospital bed. Tomorrow, we may be fighting for food. 
Tell me why you're extorting money from some of the patients here. If a patient wants a bed, he'll have to pay me a little fee. That's all. Where did you get the idea for such an immoral scam? Funny you should ask. The first time it was from a patient who bribed me to get a bed. So only then I realized I could make a fortune. What's going on between you and Nurse Hawkins? Pippa's tired. Tired of all this shit. Tired of all those corpses piling up. She's as depressed as I am. During the war, I witnessed a few couples just like you come together in difficult circumstances. It can be very damaging. Maybe you're right. But we support each other. And that's all that matters. You do realize you could both get fired. Hospital staff are not meant to have intimate relationships with one another. Come on, Dr. Reed. Do you know how many rules are broken in this hospital every day just to keep it running? There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. Do you know that Nurse Hawkins is thinking of leaving the hospital? That's not a surprise. We've talked about it already. Does it not bother you? Sometimes I think she may be right. We should run away while we can. Question is, where can we go? Where is it safe? Goodbye, Milton. Good evening, Dr. Tippett. Dr. Reed. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Do you require medical assistance, Nurse? I will be fine. As soon as I can get some sleep. I will see you later, Nurse. Goodbye, Nurse. Call me if you need assistance.
Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Do you require medical assistance, Nurse? I will be fine. As soon as I can get some sleep. Nurse, you won't be able to help people if you're sick. Take this, and do try to get some rest. I'll try, Dr. Reed. Thank you. Goodbye, Nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Hey, Doc. 